the eleventh round in the divine will, the flight into Egypt. My beloved child, with the wound of your circumcision still bleeding, you experience yet another sorrow. A tyrannical man seeks your death and you are forced to flee to Egypt to seek refuge. Such an episode symbolises the obstinacy of the human will that persecutes your divine will and keeps it from reigning. My lovely child Jesus, may my words, I love you, my affectionate kisses and my will flow within this sorrow of yours so that the human will may cause you no more sorrow. May the human will be reconciled and embrace your divine will, whereby they may operate as one sole will. Out of grateful love for this sorrow of yours, may the human will implore your fiat. I now follow the steps of my mother as she carries you in her arms. As she walks, she weeps, and within her tears I wish to comfort you with my I love you. Therefore I impress my I love you step by step upon every grain of the soil and upon every blade of grass she treads upon. I make my voice resound within these elements so that as she walks you may feel within her tears my I love you, I adore you, I bless you and I thank you. As you flee to Egypt in order to give me life, I offer my own life to defend yours and implore the triumph of your will on earth. My love, as you flee, my heart breaks, for I see you cry and bitterly weep upon being sought after by those who seek you, not to offer you shelter, but to kill you. To dry your tears with my love, I bilocate myself in all things of the created universe. To make you happy, I offer you my I love you, and I make it resound in the depths of the sea, in every drop of water, and in the darting of the fish. I wish to console your ears with the I love you of the mute fish of the sea, and with the most beautiful and loving music of my refrain, I desire your fiat. Within your will I bilocate myself to the highest mountains and in the deepest valleys to call upon the plants, the flowers and the trees and have them all repeat with me, I love you, I love you. On the wings of the wind I cry out with the most powerful voice, I love you, so that you may feel my love in the wind. In the wind I send you my kisses and I offer you my loving finesses. My beloved infant Jesus, as you make your flight to Egypt, day and night, you are constantly in the open, exposed to the elements. Therefore it is only fitting that I should call upon all the created elements to gladden their creator, and so I call upon the sunlight to cast its luminous rays upon your beautiful face and exclaim, I love you. I call upon the birds of the air, so that with, with their songs and trills, they may form lullabies of love for you. In a word, as I accompany you to Egypt, I wish to do so with the triumph of my love, and I implore you with my refrain, may the kingdom of your divine will reign on earth. I am not alone, O oh Jesus, but all the created elements are here with me. Are you not comforted by the beautiful sea, the wind, the sun and the stars that exclaim, I love you, I love you. The sky, the mountains and the plants, all with one accord, cry out in full voice, I love you, I love you. I implore you to quickly establish on earth your reigning and dominating will. This unanimous cry resounds in the heart of our Holy Queen Mother, who also exclaims, My son, my love reunites all created things and restores harmony to them. 
It surpasses all things and penetrating the interior of your heart implores the reign of your divine fiat. Amen. Fiat, fiat, fiat.